fatigue. It could be the start as simple as uh, pain around your teeth, maybe constant pain in your mouth. But those are signs, or could be signs, of oral head and neck cancer, which happens to be the sixth most common cancer in the United States. Dr. Steve is here with more very important information this morning. Hey, That's right. Good morning, guys. It may be the sixth most common cancer, but it's just as deadly as other cancers. In fact, it's oral and head and neck cancer week. And joining me now to explain more about this kind of cancer is Dr. Leonard Farber from the Farber Center for Radiation Oncology. Leonard, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for letting me join. All right. So so for a lot of people who don't know, you know, the your head and neck cancer, what is it exactly and what are some of the common causes? Well, head and neck cancer is cancers that originate within the head and neck region. And the head and neck region is broken down into various anatomical sites. And this week happens to be oral cancer uh, awareness week. So oral cancers for the layperson are cancers that occur in the lips, the gums, the tongue. We go into the oropharynx, which includes the base of tongue and tonsils. And really the most common cause of cancers of the head and neck region in general is cigarette smoking. Mm. If you add alcohol to that, the effect is even higher. The risk of, of the cancer in that region is even higher. Okay, so smoking and drinking. Some, a lot of people do that, but a lot of us also get sores in the mouth, you know, periodically. Maybe it's a viral infection. How do you know? What are some of the warning signs of something serious or something, I don't really have to worry about it. Right. Well, in the beginning, sometimes it could be difficult to distinguish. So what we're looking for in terms of sores are sores that typically don't heal. We're looking for white plaques or red plaques in the mouth that don't rub off. And then when we start to see things like lumps or, or thicknesses, uh, loosening of the teeth, bleeding gums that don't stop associated with sores. So it's really the coupling of multiple sores or multiple symptoms that stay together. And another thing would be enlarged limbs lymph nodes in the neck and if you put those together the risk becomes higher. Okay, so prevention we know is key for cancer and you're offering free screenings at your center. What does a screening entail? How long does it take if someone wanted to come down and get Correct. screened? So the Farber Center for Radiation Oncology is one of two centers in Manhattan in Manhattan offering this free screening. It takes probably 15 minutes total. Uh, people come in, we're gonna, we're gonna ask them about what symptoms do they have, if any, and we'll do a very quick examination of the oral cavity and oropharynx. A look down, put your fingers in their mouth, take right. a look with the light, and just see what's going on in there. All right, so 15 minutes of your time to detect for cancer, not too bad an investment, right? How often should someone get screened for oral head and neck cancer? I would say for patients who have no real risk factors, they're not big chronic smokers or drinking, probably annually. However, if you maintain at you know, normal checkups, go to your dentist, go to your internist. They're gonna take a look in as well. Um, if you are a smoker or if you have a sign or symptom that we talk about, it would be worthwhile to set up an appointment with a specialist then. Okay, so treatments I'm sure can vary, but let's talk about uh, how to sign up for the screening. Let's say someone wanted to go for the screening real fast. How right. could they find out? Really just go to the Head and Neck Cancer Alliance website and they will direct you to the center closest to where you live. All right, Leonard, thanks so much for coming in. Pleasure. Farmer Cancer Institute. Too, right? This well, it's the Farber, Farber Center for Radiation Farber. Oncology. There you go. It's a mouthful, guys. All right. For more information on free screenings at the Farber Center, how to sign up, meet us on the web at pix11.com. Lori Suki. I'm Carlson. This is happening on the tales of Michael Douglas and his recovery. So it's just another reminder as to why we should take care of our health and be our own best advocates. Yes, absolutely.